a Negroni Royal. So uh, basically, if you take a cocktail and top it with champagne or sparkling wine. That makes it Royale. Makes it Royal. Royale. Yeah, so you can use champagne, uh, or we're using Prosecco because, you know, Italian. Um, <laughs> Italian. That makes sense to everybody, right? You know, because Italian. It's not even a sentence. So this drink is so easy, you do it right in the glass. I'm adding, this is a classic Negroni gin. Equal parts gin and Campari, which if you don't know what Campari is, you should go get it immediately. It's, uh, it's a, bitter, a liqueur. bitter liqueur, Italian. Uh, it sort of tastes like the most bitter grapefruit you've ever had. It's, it's pretty like, when you first have it, it's like, whoa. Uh, they also make some, the same company makes something called Aperol. And now we're gonna use, uh, this is red vermouth, um, which we do about half of the red vermouth as... As to the, the other Campari. Stuff, right. Anyway, so then I added uh, a couple dashes of Angostura bitters. Um, we're also mm, gonna, this dump. is not traditionally in a Negroni, but I like putting in a little, just squeeze a little orange in there. Um, then to make I've it, Negro tons of Negronis in Italy that had oranges in them. Really? I know that it's not traditional. Oh. Well, he I do always it. does. So now we're gonna add the prosecco. Prosecco to make it all fancy pants. Do we get lemon too? I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Gosh, she's so impatient for the drink. I'm just excited. Uh, and then give it a little gentle stir. You don't want to go nuts here because you got bubbles in mm. that drink. Man, that's so good. And then finish it off with a beaut. Wow. <laughs> this is a pretty long lemon twist. John did not make that. So we're used to just being alone. And <laughs> our friend Sarah um, took the, the, the lemon peel quite seriously. I see that. It's a very aggressive lemon. Do you want a straw? You like a straw, right? Yes, I'd like a straw, please. And there we have. Because then when I'm cooking, I can just leave the drink on the counter and be like, Wait, cheers me, because I want to taste this. I've never made this before. Cheers, big ears. Oh, yeah. Delightful.